Greetings guys, girls, non-binary pals, and welcome back to another video. The other day I was on TikTok just scrolling, looking through some pickup artists, you know, <laughs> just as you do. And I came across this one account in particular that I found very intriguing, if that's the right word, um, that I wanted to talk about with you. And that is because it's run by twins. Um, and it's not a pickup account per se. Uh, it's a prank channel. It's a prank account. They make TikTok pranks, but a lot of them are just like trying to pick up girls and then they pretend that it's a joke if it doesn't go well for them, which is just like, Harassing women for the lols, you know? Obviously, we need to watch this and we need to talk about it because there's so much there and it it's just mind baffling to me. It's just never makes much sense. So that's what we're gonna do today. But before we do get into it, I would like to take a moment to say thank you to today's patron of the day, Amelia. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much for all of your support. Um, if anyone else would like to become a patron, go to patreon.com slash savvy cat or click the top link in the description. It starts at as little as one pound a month and I appreciate it greatly. All right, let's watch some of this pickup content. Oh, sorry pranks should i say because all of these are tagged with like hashtag twin prank which is wild especially considering most of them are not both of them it's one of them but hey hi do you know where the chick-fil-a is yeah so if you go inside the mu it's just on right over there okay cool what are you reading oh i'm reading this book called little fires everywhere i just started it sorry one second should i ask for this pretty girl's number I'm sorry, I have a boyfriend. Yeah, outlook not so good, so. Oh, okay. My wingman said no, so have a good one. First and foremost, every single one of these pickup videos have Gull and Red in the background as the music, which is so offensive. <laughs> like, absolutely, like, don't fucking do that. Don't use Gull and Red in this context. Please. Also, I'm realizing now as I'm sitting here filming this, that might mean that every single one of these TikToks is copyrighted. So I may have to voice over all of them and that's going to be a nightmare and I really don't want to have to do that. So fucking, why did you have to do that to me? Why? Don't do that. That's so bothersome. Don't use Girl in Red like that and don't make my life harder. Thank you. Anyway, um, I always find it so... It's just so gross and manipulative that men like to go up to women and get their attention by asking us to help them and then using that to like drag us in and be like, oh, by the way, can I get your number now that I have your attention? Like, don't trick us by making us think you need help, right? If you don't actually need help, leave me alone. I don't know what is a bigger sign of don't fucking talk to me than reading a book with your headphones on. If I've ever seen someone be like, don't talk to me unless you really need to, like that's that's what that looks like. If there was someone sitting there with their headphones on reading, don't, don't talk to them unless you really have to, leave them alone. They very obviously do not want to speak to you, okay? Have some basic manners, be a decent person and just leave them alone and carry on with your day. And then using the magic eight ball at the end to be like, I didn't even, I didn't, I didn't even want to anyway. I didn't even ask, like go away, get out. It's not like, it's not, it's not very funny. Okay. It's like, it's not. And a lot of women will laugh out of courtesy above all else. A lot of women will interact with you out of courtesy above all else. Not because they're actually interested. Do you believe in love at first sight? Do you believe in that? Uh, it takes a few times, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I'm feeling that right now. So maybe I'll see you around. And then he walks away and then the twin comes out. We have a good switcheroo here. Um, and he runs into her. Hey Jody, what the heck? This is definitely love at second sight, you know? If I could get your number, there's two of you? I talked to you earlier. I thought we kind of fell in love, honestly. Yeah, you fell in love? Yeah, twice, right? Yeah, I'll give you my number. Okay, wait, how many of you are there? So this is what I mean by the twin stuff. <laughs> they do this same bit, like, so many times, like every other day. It's it's ridiculous how often they do it. And like, I just, I, I just want to know the game plan here. 
I just really want to know the game plan. I know it's for a prank, um, so you're not actually intending on going out with these women unless you are. But like, let's say just like hypothetically speaking, you were to go out with one. Who's going? Who's going out with them? Or are you gonna are you gonna like switch it up? Like, how is this working? Why are both of you trying to pick up the same? person. It's really odd to me. It's very weird that you're both trying to pick up the same person. Who would go? The person who got given the number or the person who said the name, like the line the first time? Like who, 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 who is it? Who's winning? And also like in general, just really creepy. Just really creepy, really weird. I personally would feel very uncomfortable if someone did this to me. I, no, I would feel like I'm being followed, um, which she was being followed. It's just also just such an upfront over the top line. Like, I just don't understand this whole thing of just like approaching women and also filming without consent um, in general, just like doing shit for TikTok. I like live in constant fear of that now. And I think a lot of us do that we're gonna end up in someone's fucking TikTok. We're gonna have like a bad day and just be like, you know, looking miserable and people are gonna be like, this person d is being so rude. And it's like, I just had a bad day and I'm sitting here, man. And like, this makes it so much worse. Like having to think about the fact that someone interacting with you might be like filmed at any point is so stressful. And it really puts pressure on how to react to something because it's also so easy to find these people too. Like, you know, the location, like what uni he's at kind of thing, you know, like, there are so many factors that play into how people react to this sort of stuff because there is so much potential for shit to go wrong. We live in such a scary time. Is this the way to the gym? Mm -hmm. Yeah, straight ahead. Literally straight ahead. Wait, do you have a map? Do I have a map? Yeah, it's literally straight ahead. I keep getting lost in your eyes. Awkward laugh. That's funny. What's your name? Belle. I'm Joe. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I just thought you were super cute. I already know where the gym is. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, it's straight ahead. Can I get your number? I have a boyfriend. So, okay. Yeah, no worries. I don't know if you'd be, yeah. Haha. <laughs> That's all right. The audacity <laughs> of men is so wild. Like, surely you can pick up on the fact that she's trying to walk away immediately. She's like, oh yeah, you need help. There's the gym and tries to walk away. And as you talk to her, she keeps trying to walk away and you just like, won't let her. And this is something that men do constantly. Just like refusing to pick up on body language signals of like, it's just because it doesn't suit them, right? If I'm trying to walk away, let me walk away. I am aware of what your intention is. I know that once I say where the gym is and you're like, oh, by the way, I know, I know what, I know what you're gonna ask. I know what's about to happen. Let me walk away right? I'm like clearly not interested. If we don't stop and like face you and talk to you, please let us leave. <laughs> please let us leave. The way that they just completely overlook this, like they think that the longer they talk to you, you're going to like change your mind. No, I still want to leave. We are just trying to live our lives and exist and go to the places that we need to go. And like so many comments are being like, see, he took the rejection so well. This is how all men need to be. No, all men need to not fucking do this in the first place. Don't lure us into a false sense of security by just asking for help. And then when we're helpful, you're like, great. Now that I have your attention, can you like, do we want to do something? No, go away. <laughs> Read people's body language and let women just exist and live their lives, you know? Like it is a good thing that she said no and he left. But like, firstly, I don't know if she does have a boyfriend or not. Obviously that's not like that important, but a lot of the time, we will say we have a boyfriend because it's the only thing that'll actually like get it through men's heads and get them to leave us alone. And the fact that we have to come up with excuses in order for men to leave is so sad. Like she, even if she, regardless of if she has a boyfriend or not, she shouldn't have had to say, I have a boyfriend. She shouldn't have felt the need to say that. We can, we should just be able to be like, no, sorry. But that's often not, you know, received very well. Um, I've been in like conversations with men who have done shit like this and they just will not leave no matter what you fucking say, no matter how you try to walk away, no matter what you do. And you just feel unsafe, you know? It's just like, leave us alone, leave us alone. And like, because this happens so often where, or like often enough where, you know, we're kind of lulled into this false sense of security where like men will ask for help and then immediately try to escalate it. It means that a lot of the time women aren't going to be willing to offer help out of fear that that is what is going to happen. 
And then men are like, women are so rude. No one wants to help. Blah, blah. It's like, well, it's because we've been harassed enough times to just not want to interact with men in public, period. You know, like I'll very often ignore men when they're trying to talk to me in public. And I don't know, cause like maybe they are gonna just ask for help, but like I do not have the energy to deal with it if it's something else, you know? And like, and that's gonna come across as rude, but like, I just don't have the energy for it sometimes, you know, you know? So some men ruin it for everyone, really. I study palm reading here. Mm-hmm. Can I practice on you? Haha. <laughs> here, let me feel this out, yeah? Your palms are saying this is love at first sight. Oh, is it now? Yeah, that's funny. I just thought you were super cute, so I wanted to come talk to you. I still have to pay you back for that Bugatti you bought me. Don't sweat it, bro. You're a top G. That was good, that was good. That was kind of weird, but yeah, can I get your number? Sure, awesome. So what do you study here? Psychology. Oh, very nice. I'm in Rizology. Ah, ha, ha. Bet you have a 4.0. I okay, well, being called top G in the year of 2023 is like a screaming red flag. <laughs> it's a, a screaming red flag. You're a top G. Thank you. That's a red flag. If I've ever seen one, run, get out. That's no, like once upon a time, maybe that wasn't so much of a red flag. Still not the, not a green flag, but not like a red flag. Now, red flag, leave. Don't give him your number. Just walk away. Just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that a lot of the time, again, women feel pressured into giving their number just as an easy escape to a conversation. It's like, it's easier to just give you my number and then block you than it is to stand here and like try to get out of it. So like, I get that, but like, yeah, no. Wee woo, wee woo, red flag, top G. No, 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 no. And it's like, it's so interesting again of like body language and like, she doesn't seem super comfortable. You know what I mean? Like you can see at the beginning, she's like looking around, like kind of being like, ha 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 ha. And it doesn't feel like a very authentic, comfortable sort of conversation that they're having, right? And again, I'm able to read that based off of conversations that I've had and how I feel and how I present myself and so many other women as well. And like, it's just wild to me that men just like, or these men are just so oblivious to this or at least don't care to acknowledge it. And they think that it's like a really successful conversation. They think that if they get a girl's phone number, they've like won the conversation. They've like, ha they've, they've nailed it. They've done good. They've picked up a woman, but like nine times out of 10, they're giving you their number out of safety and comfort, like ease of a situation above actually having any intention of seeing you. This is one thing I don't get with pickup artists is that they like spend all this time trying to get women's numbers. And I know in this instance, it's for TikTok content. They don't actually give a fuck, but like in, for some people, you know, they spend time trying to get women's numbers because they wanna like score and go out with them. But if you're out there getting girls numbers every single day, it's clearly not been very successful, has it? Like you're clearly not doing a very good job dating if you're having to go out and get new women's numbers every single day. Like, I just don't understand the point. I just don't get it. I don't get it at all. It's just about a power thing and being like, how many girls numbers can I get to make my ego better? How, how do I boost my ego today? Like most of the time it's not authentic. They don't actually want to give you their number. They don't have any intention of ever speaking to you ever again. And it's so funny that they kind of think that it's gonna be anything other than just an interaction that never goes anywhere. Do girls like guys who can skateboard? Sure. If I can do a kickflip, is that like an impressive move to a girl? I mean, I can't do a kickflip, so I think so. Okay, cool. I'm gonna go learn, yeah. Have a good one. Hey, so I still can't do a kickflip. God fucking damn it, no. I was wondering, do you find me attractive? because you can kickflip? Well, I can't kickflip. That was pretty close. No, I don't. I'm sorry. You didn't make it not attractive. Well, have a great day. That was the correct response. <laughs> I, I, I liked her attitude here um, of how she kind of was like in control and in charge of that conversation. Like again, this one wasn't like, this wasn't an aggressive interaction. This was just a genuine question and it it wasn't anything like, forceful or necessarily like uh, about pursuing someone. It was more of an innocent conversation. And I think that she went about it very well as well. I deeply respect her just being like, no, you're not attractive because you can't do a kickflip. 
Have a good day, though. Exactly. That's exactly the correct answer. <laughs> and I love her for that. I love her for that. Good for her. Hey, excuse me. If I land a kickflip, can I get a kiss? No. Okay. Fuck off. Have a good one. Fuck off. <laughs> what? Just a joke, but <laughs> not going good at all. How is he here? acting like a victim in that situation. How is he like, what? What is it with that reaction? It's just a joke. Like, bro, you just fucking harassed someone, right? Like, you're going up to a stranger being like, can I have a kiss? And she says, fuck off. And you're like, how dare you? I'm just joking. Like, it's not a joke though, is it? Because if she said yes, you would accept that kiss. And I know that because that's happened before. You've, do you've done it before and you've accepted the kiss. So therefore, not a joke. Just because it doesn't go in your favor doesn't make it a joke because you're not joking. And she very rightfully told you to fuck off because that's such an inappropriate question. It's so weird to ask for a kiss from a stranger. Like that's so weird. And it takes a really weird level of like delusional and ego to go up to a stranger and ask for that. Like you're lucky no one said that to you before. You're lucky no one's fucking slapped you. You know, like it's such an uncomfortable question to be asked. I personally would just like put my headphones on and walk away, but you absolutely deserve to be cussed out. And pretending that you're the victim here and people in the comments being like, she's definitely posting about this on Twitter with 19,000 likes, always the threes the worst she can say is no. And like, these all have thousands of likes. And it's like, it's so fucking wild to me that these men genuinely view her as the bad guy in this situation. Like 19,000 men were like, lol, she's definitely posting about this on Twitter. Like, as she should though, I'd post about it on Twitter. Like, <laughs> it's very like, just these men shouldn't you shouldn't do this. You shouldn't go up to women and ask them to kiss you. You shouldn't say that to strangers. Leave us alone. God, it's not a joke if you don't intend on it being a joke and it's not very funny. And like when people approach you in situations like this and you're just trying to live your life, you become way too aware of yourself, you know? Like it's just not a great feeling. I hate it. So many of us hate it. We're just trying to live our lives and get to where we need to go. Leave us alone, please. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. It's another shorter video today because there's not really that much more I can say. We could just watch more of these TikToks and laugh at them, but I don't really feel like doing that because I've kind of had enough. I don't really need to see any more women being harassed today. I think I think this has been enough. Um, Yeah, leave women alone. Let us exist in our bodies and in our lives and do things. If people are wearing headphones, don't talk to them. Just period, don't talk to them. Don't lure women into thinking that you're just asking for like help for something and then carry on to pursue that conversation any further. Like don't be misleading. You know that they're going to walk away if you try and just directly ask them out. So you have to like lie by pretending you need something. Like that's such a shitty thing to do. It's just such a shitty thing to do. Please let us exist. Let us live our lives. Leave us alone. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you would react in any of these situations and what you think about this whole thing. Anyway, yeah, massive thank you to my Sprout and Above patrons whose names are up on the screen right now. And a huge, huge thank you to my Kiwi Cat patrons. Harry, Bobby, Sparrow, Josh, Mandy, Ikazel, Jessica, Eldo, Daniel, Anoli Like Cannoli, Elias, Apollo, Taylor is Trying, Boston, Chris, Amelia, and Anu. I love and appreciate you all so, so much. Thank you so much for joining. If anyone else would like to become a patron, go to patreon.com slash savvycat or click the top link in the description. For as little as one pound a month, you get my videos a day early as well as podcasts a week early. And then for three pounds and up, you get things such as outtakes, bonus mini podcasts, live streams, vlogs, music stuff, and more. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the queer kiwi and Twitter, that queer kiwi. Also TikTok, the queer kiwi. Maybe I'll post on there again eventually someday. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Keep fighting. I love you. Mwah. When you close your eyes